Opinion polls show a great degree of fragmentation in the French electorate. There are four candidates who stand a chance of making it to the second round of the presidential election. It's also noteworthy that three of the four main candidates present themselves as outsiders, as leaders with no connection with the traditional parties. This is connected to several elements. Uh, the French economy has been growing below the EU average for a few years now. Unemployment has been above the EU average for a number of years as well. People are exhausted with the traditional political parties. Some are also worried about the impact that immigration is having on France's national identity and security. Some candidates are proposing uh, a nationalist agenda with a more present state that intervenes in the economy, that protects different sectors of the French economy, that closes the borders to migrants, where others, other candidates are promising to deregulate the French economy, to open the French economy, to introduce spending cuts, reforms in the public sector, reforms in the labor law to make the French economy more competitive. So these are two main uh, ideas that will clash in the presidential election. No matter who wins the presidential election, they will need support from the National Assembly to pass legislation. France has a semi-presidential system in which there is a president with a certain amount of powers, but there is also a prime minister with, with different powers and prerogatives. So in order to pass legislation, the president will need support from the prime minister, will need support from the National Assembly, and this is why uh, this is one of those rare occasions where we could have different parties winning the presidency and winning the National Assembly, which could lead to what the French call cohabitation, in which you have a prime minister and a president from different parties, which would force them to cooperate in order to avoid a political paralysis. So no matter what the president's promise in the presidential campaign, then they will need support from lawmakers to enforce most of their electoral promises. France is the second largest economy in Europe and it's one of the main political forces in the European Union. So whatever happens domestically in France, of course, has an impact at the European level. And in the presidential election, uh, French voters will have to decide between two models. Some candidates want France to remain in the European Union, even if they want to modify different aspects of it, and other candidates want to either reform the European Union completely or even leave the European Union. And of course, uh, markets, consumers, investors will also be watching the election closely because of the very different uh, economic and financial policies that the main candidates are offering. And, and many people are worried that if some candidates win, especially those in the far left or the far right, then uh, the future of France's membership in the Eurozone could be in jeopardy.